Right. Here. No, drink it. No, I'm fine. Look, this is me pre coffee first thing in the morning. You, uh. You cut it on a wine glass. Yeah, I do know. I was there. That's, it's not a dig. I just recognise that, you know, that morning after. Not a clue what I did feeling, that's all. I know what I did, Tar. I shouldn't have phoned you when I've had a few. Hours. You didn't phone me. No, what I mean is you didn't need. You shouldn't have come checking up on me. Actually, all right. You did phone me. <laughs> because you want to get a grip on this. And there's no shame in that, Carla. Oh, yeah, OK, look, I'm a maudlin drunk. I got bladdered. I felt a bit unhinged. I made a stupid phone call. You shouldn't be here. Well, nobody knows I am, all right? And I'm not going to say it. As far as people think, I'm at a mate's house all right now, here. I'm fine. Hello? Hello, it's Leanne. <gasps> Hello, it's Leanne. Um, Hiya. It's Leanne. Listen, I'm worried about you. Give me a minute, eh, y'all? Pop over to Bucky's later. Peter's babysitting some Arky, mate. She's gone. Babysitting's over. Yeah, I'm going. As soon as you admit to me sober that you've got a problem, OK? That's the first step. Oh, I am not. Like you. Oh, come on, Carly. You're kidding yourself. Really? Yeah. Have I set fire to my flat? Have I tried to kill my kid? You were about to drive into the nearest wall drunk. Yeah, about to. Big difference. I didn't. Peter, don't make me your project. Just go back to Leanne. Leanne can wait. I am not being your excuse to treat her like dirt. Just admit it. Admit what's going on. Haven't you hurt her enough? I love Leanne. Oh, yeah. I bet meeting with you fulfilled all their dreams, didn't it? We're happy, now that I'm in control. Mm -hmm. When I grow up, I want to get engaged to an alcoholic bookie. And I want to mind his business and his son while he goes AWOL, trying to look for someone to make him feel better about himself. I know what she sacrificed for me. <laughs> Interesting use of past tense there. Yes, alcohol nearly ruined my life, but that's why I'm here, OK? That's why I'm trying to help you. Yeah, we didn't bother because the way I feel now. I'm never drinking again, all right? <laughs> Remember that at four o'clock when you feel better. Hair of the dog, that's what I need. Quick one after work. Who can I persuade to have a drink with me? Shut the door on your way out. Nick's probably offered the job to somebody else now, anyway. Lee, why don't you go and tell him? I'll pick Si up from my dad's. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, just give me ten minutes. All oh, right, OK. I'll have a white wine. In fact, make it a bottle. Won't be long. Hey, I love. Not for you, this one, is it, Peter? Oh, no, no. I'm not going back there, love. I've worked so hard to get here. Yeah, well, I'm only having one myself. You better be prepared for Leanne rolling in drunk. Well, I'm sure it wouldn't be the first time. Well, I could always squeeze one down if you overloaded. <laughs> it's our show, but no time. I've been all right, Mrs Connor. You, wife. Fine, thank you. We were all there first thing, all ready to clock on. You'll be paid. What was I meant to say to Leanne? Let's go for a coffee tomorrow instead. It was her that said drink. I never said that this was going to be easy. I won't fight you. Good. Do you honestly think that's going to be the only one? Hmm? Maybe you're not ready to change things yet. Enjoy. 
I was a cow this morning. Sorry. My apologies to Liam, won't you? I want 